Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to your Friday. It's also today and every day. <laughs> yes. It's a <laughs> pleasure to see. Ah, it's a very hot day, my God. Yes. Yeah. Very hot. And today it's also very hot too. Well, normally here where I teach, it's kind of fresh, but today it's very hot. Yes. Well, welcome. Okay, okay. So I am going to, there you go. I'm going to change the clothes of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I really like to dress up the camera as well. Okay, so Teacher, I, I could I could not to send the apps. Ah, but don't worry, you can do it during the weekend. Okay, because, uh, there's a it was a there's a problem because I I I have not have not using the. So the apps in in this moment are are not available. Ah, they are not available. So available. they they yes. were not updated. The thing is that, for example, when you um, <clears throat> leave like a, like some time without using a specific app, maybe it changes or it uh, yes. it um, updates. And you need to reinstall everything for it to work, right? That that's like the biggest problem, right? That you yeah. need to that you need to reinstall everything. Hello, good, good evening. evening, Jorge. Uh, Hello. I was. What is the difference? Finding or searching? Depending on what you want to say. Ah, okay. I I I, I was uh, searching in the uh -huh. in the Play Store. Ah, okay. So you it's say, okay. I will look for them. I will look for them uh, on the Play Store. Okay. I, I will, will look, look for them. them. It's oh, like okay. when you put the name and everything and, yes. you, and you search okay. for them. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. So it is, it is like that. In some cases, when the apps are like kind of uh, it, that they have like a lot of years of existence, they they transform them or they update them or they change yes. the names. So I, it's- I, 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 I was searching, but I, I don't- I didn't? I didn't choosing, uh, choosing anything. Any, oh, so like, I didn't find anything, you say? I didn't find anything, but this, this apps, uh, I liked because uh, they was very. They very are easy. very. very oh, easy. Or if you say if it was in the past, you say like they were very they useful. Were very useful, yes. Okay. Oh, don't worry, Christia. Be careful. Christia is driving. She says. Teacher. Yes. Uh, the midterm is also need to, to finish today. Yes, as we did them yesterday, right? We, it, it was just, they are kind of easy. They are just for choosing the answer. And we did them yesterday as part of the class. So um, you can complete them as well. It is not going to take you a lot of time. And if you have doubts or something, you can go back to yesterday's class uh, where we had the answers and all that, right? Of the of the Teacher, test. Right? Yes. Yes, so Mr. Maran. Okay. Uh, could you explain today a little the three PLs? Yes, because that's what I, that's what we're going to uh, that's what uh, we're going to study today. Because I already complete. Complete my my test. Yeah. Okay, that's but pretty I awesome. understand. I understand I the idea, the 3PL, so I, I... The 3PLS. The 3PLS. The 3PLS, the 3 
PLs of the three P's of logistics. And remember that we studied the, the seven R's. And in this case is the three P's of logistics. And I have them right here. I am going to share it right here. I, the three P's. I couldn't uh -huh. finish because uh -huh. uh, common sense. <laughs> no <in> common sense. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was no common I, sense. I no common sense. <laughs> I finished. The pura, the pura guasa. <laughs> ah, go on. Yesterday we were we were doing that yesterday in class. Yeah, but the three PLs, no? The three, the third this. party logistics. What is the test? Uh, the steps. And, and tell me, did you investigate anything? About, I told you yesterday, we're going to study this and this and this. Did you have the chance to go and search for it a little bit? No teacher, I have no, I have no time. I'm you sorry. you didn't have time. So this is what we are going to Me study too. today, right? The I three the three PLs of logistics. I have pending the uh, exercise or homework. Uh -huh. Two point eight. Okay, we're going to study that one. Let me just open it so we can check it. Right, the sooner the better. Okay, I am going to open the platform. Meanwhile, uh, good, good evening, everybody. Welcome to your class. Thank you, teacher. It is a pleasure to good have evening, you here. Everybody. And for sure, for sure, for everybody, it is, always, it is always great to, to see you, to be here, to share with all of you. And I am going to open section two, 2.8, you say. 2.8, okay. correct. 2.8. But the common sense, it's, it's good. <laughs> it helps a lot, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, in in the okay, let me see. Two point eight. Here it is. I am going to open it in a second for everybody. And I listen to myself. I don't know who has it in there. You go. And here we go. I was thinking the platform has um, a problem. A problem when I just see the, the numbers. And no, it's because it has <laughs> the numbers. It is a, the number of of a step that they are talking about. So uh, here, here I have it. Let me just show it to you. And I need to share my screen right now. Okay. Here we go. Chan, chan, chan. And I am back. A hey, and the other ones, my God, they don't want to present their homework, huh? It's Friday, teacher. It's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> In the body, doesn't have automatically, <laughs> automatically, the, uh, automatically, the presence uh -huh. right now we had 10. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All the all the ones that are here, you have a 10. What number is this? Sorry, sorry, 2.8. This is 2.8, and this is like the number of the uh the 3PL okay. section that they are talking about. For example, the first one, the first one here, this is option number four, and the first step of the 3PL's uh, selection process is to do an internal assessment of what you current and future needs. That is the first one. Well, the 3PL, what is this one? The 3PL's of logistics is when you hire other companies to do some things in your company, right? Yes. It's like when you like when you say in Spanish cuando subcontratan a alguien más, right? Because you don't have those uh, those uh, options or you have a specific needs that they need to be fulfilled by a, a different company, right? The first step that you have to do is to do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. So why do you need to hire someone else? Why do you need a third party logistics for uh, your company, 
Why do you need to hire a different person? It is the first one, right? To do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. The second step that you are going to do, it's to develop a detailed plan for the TPL selection process. So you cannot just choose. It's like, ah, este nos cobra barato, este es mejor, este, ah, este, mira, tiene bonito logo. No, you have to develop a detailed plan for the selection process. Who are you going to choose to work with you? Then, then you have to review the checklist of the TPL capabilities. What are the things that this company can do that are going to help you? And for sure, number four, you are going to evaluate, interview, and select, right? It is not like, let me see. Imagine that I need, I need to hire what? A mechanic. And all of you are mechanics, right? All of you here are mechanics. And you say like, ah, let me see. Maybe I am going to choose uh, Juan de Dios because I like the I like the background of his house. Yeah, that's the one. Bring it to the company. And then when he comes to the company, he is a good mechanic, but for bicycles. Mm -hmm. And I need it for the machines. And it's like, oops. So I didn't do a correct process of the selection for the TPL that I needed, right? The third party logistics. A third party is like como una tercera mano, right? Es alguien más, un alguien ex externo. So that's why the next step is to evaluate, interview, and select. If I need a good mechanic, I need to interview all of you to see who's the most capable person to do the job. In and for case, sure, uh -huh. we need four. Four person, the number four, How evaluate, come? interview, and select. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. In, in this case, okay, esto es importante. Los números representan cuál es el paso en, en, esta, en este proceso. En el proceso de las 3P, tiene diferentes pasos, right? Tiene okay. como diferentes secciones. Correcto. Entonces, aquí lo que tenían que hacer era escoger el número de eh, el paso al que correspondía. ¿Cuál era el primer paso? El primer paso era este, en este caso, el número cuatro, ¿verdad? Es el canal analyze. Ajá, you have to analyze. ¿Cuál es el primer paso que teníamos que hacer? Do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. The okay. second step. ¿Cuál es el segundo paso a seguir en un plan de, de, de las 3P? Develop a detailed plan. Ok. First, the, as, to assess. Then, to develop a detailed plan. Okay. Number three, to review the checklist of the 3PL capabilities, okay? You need a checklist because this is what you are going to fulfill mm -hmm. with this person. Yes. And then what was the fourth step? Ya que hizo el assessment, ya que hizo el plan de trabajo, ya que revisó todas las necesidades y ya tiene lo que, lo que busca, va a Valor. evaluar, in, yeah. eh, entrevistar y yeah. seleccionar. Choose the best okay. options. You are going to choose the best option for your company. Okay, so these are the fourth steps. Entonces, ahora sí les pregunto, ¿cuáles son los cuatro pasos que hay aquí en este momento en eh, selection process? The first yes. one, the assessment. Yes. The second one, the plan. Uh, the, the third one, review. review. And the fourth one, evaluate. evaluate. Right? Evaluate. Those are the steps that you follow for the 3PL selection process. Right? Okay. A specific definition, but now yeah. I, I am just taking the moment for that. And this one, uh, the second part of this exercise is what we did uh, before, yes. right? That we did the matching of everything, yes, right? Review, yes. The review, right? The distribution, review, yes. supply chain, inventory management, logistics, and maintenance. This is what we were doing in the previous yes. class. So maybe this is the, the only one that we hadn't studied that much. So yes. because this one was about uh, the different functions of the third party logistics as well. And I am going to show you here 
We were doing this one yesterday as well. Yes. Este lo completamos el día de ayer. Aquí lo tengo como lo hicimos. So, in this one we have, what is private fleet management? What is it? It's a function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. A private fleet management, right? A function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risk, the risks associated with vehicle investment. A que se refiere el private fleet management? For example, if you have a company and you have your cars and you're going to buy vehicles, if you're going to, to buy trucks or, or anything, and you don't consider that you have like the capability or the capacity to manage this right now, maybe you can get a private fleet management, okay? Que alguien más eh, lo haga, así evitamos el hecho de invertir mucho en vehículos, en, en camiones, en manejo, etc. So you have the private fleet management, y ahí baja mucho el riesgo de estas inversiones en vehículos, en las compañías. A small package service. A small package service. Envelopes or packages, shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds. This is a small package service. Something that you can send on a motorcycle, for example. Yes, sir. Yes? Uh... It's a mistake in the second one, 100 pounds. Yeah, it's pounds. <laughs> Libras. <laughs> it's for the students to, to check ah, if there is something ah, incorrect, it's right? Anything. It's a it's a pound, right? It will be here, they should say pounds or kilograms, right? Pounds or you can, or depending. It cannot be kilograms. Because uh, it will be, it wouldn't be a small package anymore. Si 75, pesa ciento, uh -huh. 75 kilograms. Uh -huh. Imagine in this case, if it is 150 kilograms, ya es como ya de, de, de sus que, más de 200, <laughs> 250. <laughs> 300 pounds, indeed. It yeah. would be like, eh, quizá no la puedo llevar, fíjese, en Hugo. <laughs> Maybe not. In, uh, in the motorcycle. Ya, ya pida un Uber moto mejor. <laughs> so, that is a, a small package service. What are some companies here in El Salvador that you can consider that work with a small package service? Let me, let me fix my chair. Urbano Express. Okay, Urbano Express, very good. Cargo. Cargo, good. Correo del Salvador, right? They work with small and big packages. Ciber compras. Ciber compras, nice. You have Hugo, pedido ya. Oh. Eh, what else? Uber. No, but depending. Because Uber, Uber Eats and Uber... Uber Eats. Uber Eats. And also Uber Deliveries, they take big things as well. But not something as big as a ropero, right? Fíjese que compré unas cositas en metro. A washing machine. <laughs> so, they, they work with these small packages. A small package service. What about the next one? Cargo insurance. Cargo insurance. It provides protection against all risks of physical loss or damage to freight right? When you work on everything, the cargo insurance is going to help you to provide protection against all the risks or the physical loss, in which cases you can suffer a physical loss of your production. Car crash. In a car crash. Very good job, right? In the case of an accident, right? One day I was going to San Juan Opico and there was this... Uh, this truck like, of a very famous beer company of El Salvador that was just there on an accident, right? But all the ones that were helping, helping, were helping the boxes of, of beers, right? 
because to survive <laughs> <laughs> they were helping the beers to survive and i said like ah oh, yeah you're very worried about the accident i said uh-huh <laughs> yes <laughs> they were saving the all the sodas and all these things but they were not helping the poor man who was fighting there to go out of the of the car so that that can be a physical loss of your products good let me see the next one we have a freight claim insurance what is the meaning of freight who investigated it freight is it in spanish is impuesto <laughs> exactly like that well in spanish is what is the meaning of this it has a specific Flete. name. Flete. 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 Flete, that it's like a permission, right? It's the, a permission. The price that you pay for the transportation of some product. Exactly like that. And uh, you need a specific uh, freights for uh, dangerous uh, materials for a specific products that need a specific permissions, right? So I was talking with a with one student that I have that, for example, to make candles, to make a, this type of soap and things, you use a glycerin. And this has a very specific freight that you need to, to get and everything and the truck has to be special and the cargo insurance has to be updated. So it, it's a big thing just to transport that. And you might say like, pero si glicerina, eso no afecta en nada. But it is indeed, and it is a very dangerous substance yes. for uh, transportation in the normal thing. It's like, échale al camión, señor. No, right? They need to have a specific truck to transport it. So in this case, the freight is flete, right? And it says here, freight claim insurance a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment right so you need to have a to be sure that all the things that you are doing are on task that they are legal and everything because you are also going to have a freight claim insurance a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment, right? You need to be very careful because on the shipments, they have different products. They don't only have your product, right? It'll be like, ay, teacher Nati va a mandar esta botella. Only this bottle for the complete shipment. No, it has many things, right? It has shirts, it has, I don't know, pants, it has boxes, products, plastic, whatever thing. For sure, combined, uh, not combined with something toxic, for example, right? But if you um, have this type of insurance, you know that if your product is the one that ruins this, the, all the others, you are going to be covered, right? And it is a bit expensive in some cases. And the last one, it's transportation. What is transportation? the physical process of transporting commodities and merchandise, goods and cargo. That is transportation, transportation, right? So is it clear all these definitions, the ones that I just mentioned right now? Are they clear now? I, I really wanted to take this moment to, hey, the pounds are moving with me, there you go. And yesterday we were doing this section as well. What is the meaning of freight forwarding service, Mr. Manuel? A company that organizes shipments for corporation to get good from the man. I can see more. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I will make Market. it. Can you Market. see it? manufacturer? Manufacturer, market, customer, or final point of distribution. Okay, that is a freight forwarding service, a company that organize, organizes shipments for corporations to get goods from the manufacturer to a market, customer, or final point or, of distribution. This is what I was explaining, right? That a different cargo, it's going to bring a different shipment, sorry. Different shipments bring different materials, but there are specific companies that organize all these things. 
For example, here in El Salvador, you have the CMA, I think it's called, that they have these specific trucks and shipments and all that. And they are the ones in charge of moving goods from other countries to El Salvador. And what about a LEED certification? What is it, Juan de Dios? Uh, it provides a point system to score green building design and construction. And construction, right? A certification that provides a system to score green building design and construction, right? The permissions that you get, the certifications. We were talking about this as well in yesterday's class that we were saying that you need certifications and permissions for the different things that we do in or every day, right? For example, if you are a teacher, you should be certified. If you are an engineer, you should be certified, right? And in some cases, you should be a good one because I was giving you the example of the building here in, in front of Galerias that was just like uh, not well uh, designed and they, um, and they closed it because it was interrupting the, the sidewalk. Right, and they just they just cancel it. They close it, and there is another one in I don't know what was it's I don't remember where was the other one. The one that um, got all the water in I don't remember the bamboo, the, the bamboo <laughs> right? That the people were floating there with they all the water, in. the Titanic. <laughs> so maybe. Maybe, I am not saying, and if someone is checking on this recording, I am not saying that the engineers are not certified, but maybe they should give a second look to the designs. The and, rain and, was so hard, teacher. <laughs> yes, the, yeah, that, was, <laughs> that was a terrible day. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> it was a very hard day for raining. And uh, I think it has been the hardest rain of the year. Yes. What is cross docking capability, Miss Tatiana? Cross docking capability is products from a supplier are distrib distributed di directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. Okay, a cross docking capability. Products from a supplier are distributed directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to not handling or storage time. So this is the type of uh, products that don't have that much time to be a storage. But they need to go straight to the customers or straight to the retail chains. What type of products can be classified on this section? The ones that you cannot storage for that long. Examples of products that you cannot keep? Computers. Uh, computers. Why do you think that you cannot storage computers for that much time? ¿Por qué no la... Okay, the food. ¿Por qué no podríamos guardar las computadoras por mucho tiempo? But I think we can, we can. Because of what, sorry, sorry, sorry. Obsolete. Uh, they can be obsolete. That can be a, a, a situation, right? But this specific uh, section applies mostly for uh, things that you cannot storage for a long period of time. Flowers, for example, it might sound crazy, but they need to be moved quickly vegetables food uh, chicken meat dairy products right they can go straight to the customer or to the retail chains in a very fast way so that is the cross docking capability it's like they have to move really fast from the shipment to the customer and the last one that i have here it's disaster recovery plan miss diana what does it mean Disaster recovery plan. Set of producers to recover and protect a business. It, it, IT. Uh, IT. Instructor in the event of a disaster. Yes. 
So you need to have a disaster recovery plan. What can happen, for example, if there's a fire in the place? What uh, is going to happen if there is an earthquake? If there is like, I don't know, uh, something toxic goes out of the, the company and what is the plan? What is the plan that you have? It is not like, well, the plan is going to be uh, yell and run. <laughs> That's not a plan, mm. right? It will be like, well. This is a big plan. <laughs> Jefe, ¿cuál va a ser el plan en caso de terremoto? Run. <laughs> that's not the that's not the plan right we're like okay and by the way do you have a, a plan in case of disaster in your house yeah yeah run run, <laughs> run. escape me first you <laughs> say it, it is it is curious it is curious when when uh -huh, a place is sure uh-huh. Let's say, um, um, how can I say, um, reunion. Uh, get, get together or yes. meet, meet in a place. In a place. Yeah, there, there are a lot of companies that have this meeting point, right? That in the case of a disaster, you don't remember where the meeting point is. <laughs> Al punto de reunión. ¿Dónde está el punto de reunión? You don't know, right? You don't remember. It is uh, most of the in most of the cases is on the on the parking lot, right? That is the yeah. place where where you run. Have you identified the the meeting point of your company? Yeah, I am the team of uh, first uh, first aid. First aid. Hey, good event. Yes. In case of a disaster, she's going to sell to save us here in class. Disconnect yeah. everything and run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is very curious, for example, in the case of the rains and everything. And when you see the ads on television that they say, keep a first aid kit, keep a backpack with your documents and food and everything. And you say like, exagerado. And we don't have it. We don't have like these, these things prepared and we never know it when are we going to need them, right? So it is good to consider it. Ah, pero cuando tiembla en la noche, el do it, la cartera, todo dejamos ahí a la mano. Ah, because we are afraid. Ahí todos duermen con pijama. Mm -hmm. Because kids. imagine, uh -huh. yeah, they, they uh -huh. kid, uh -huh. <laughs> the first aid, uh, yeah, to take the, the adults first. All. <laughs> <laughs> and your daddy, hey, come on. <laughs> yeah, to that uh, disaster recovery plan. So here we have basically the, the vocabulary related to the three PLs, right? And also the one that we studied before on the homework 2.8. So as you can see here, this was also on your manual, right? This was also on your manual. This part of the manual is what we just did, right? The small package service and the private fleet, the freight claim insurance, cargo, and a small package, right? This is what we just did. And Fisher, sure. yes? What is the page in the manual? It's page number 20. 20. Page 20. Page 20. Thank you. This is what we were studying yesterday, right? This is the part that, that we studied yesterday with the inbound and outbound logistics, right? And here you have, yesterday we were checking that the inbound logistics concerns the relationship between companies and the suppliers, while the outbound logistic deals with how companies get products to their customers. Right, and this is basically what you did yesterday on your little interaction, right? The inbound and outbound of your restaurant. <clears throat> that is the one that you are going to present oh. in some minutes. Teacher, the, the attendance. I am going to do it right now. <laughs> I had it ready. I, I was waiting for Manuel to remind me about it. <laughs> Let me see. 
It is like, take the attendance teacher one by one with, with name and last name. 30 uh, minutes teacher. 30 minutes for the attendance. Take your time teacher, take your time. Okay, so I am going to, to call the attendance list. Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. And here we go. I am going to start with, okay, today is July 15. July 15. Uh, Carolina Jamilet. Hey, Carita. Where is Carita? I knew that I was missing a specific voice. Carita. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Here teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Linda, Linda. Mi Linda. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Genoveva, ok. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Nelson Gabarrete. Present. Norma Carolina. Olga Marleni. Present. Eh, Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Rosita Beatriz, Silvia Zuleima, Tatiana Present. Michelle. Present teacher. Thank you. There you go. Let me see, let me see. Hey, Silvia, Silvia, I heard Silvia. Ah, there you go. I saw it already. <laughs> no te veía, Silvia. Ya te vi. <laughs> Silvia. Here you go. Thank you, thank you. No me salía tu camarita. Vilma y Beth. Marlene yes. Nicole. Thank you. Thank Present. You. Omar Francisco. Present. Danny Anthony. Hey, and Danny, I have two days without checking on Danny. Where are you, Danny? Okay, so that is the attendance of the day. Good. So going back to the business that we were working on, Right. This is what we did yesterday, right? We did the inbound and outbound logistics, and we were studying the different uh, vocabulary related to this, the customer service. What is customer service in your own words? What is customer service? Si tendrían que crearle una definición a customer service, what will it be? In Spanish. And in English, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> For you to practice your English. Uh, um, Think to about. give attention or provide information to a customer about a product. Very good job, right? A product or a service, right? Okay. To provide information or to guide a customer and for sure with a product through a product or a service and for sure that it's customer service is mostly based on attention right the attention that you give to a customer or the help that you can provide to a customer in a different need right regarding a product or a service who works in customer service here Let's see, raise your hand if you work in customer service. No? Servicio al cliente, nadie? I work in customer service because I have to attend the clients who go to the academy, right? I, I work a little bit of everything, right? A veces albañil, a veces ingeniero, a veces director. I do customer service. It's like, as soon as they go, it's like, can I have information about the academy? For sure, I said, and then I go oh. and, and I attend the client, right? It's like this and this and this and this. Mm -hmm. So 
I, I do a little bit of customer service. <laughs> I'm in customer service. <laughs> oh, you're in customer service. Okay, yeah. Rocio, what is the... No, what is... It, it, be, because you are, well, my, uh, I work as information manager, uh -huh. but uh, we provide information to our sellers. We don't work with the customer, but we provide information to the sellers for our company. Ah, that's good. Uh, yeah, and we, we share uh, the information that we need to enter in SAP. And, and the program, we, huh? we, yeah, and we and we give the information to the different manufacturers in in El Salvador, yeah, and mm -hmm. in other countries because we work. Uh, well, we are not a, I don't know how to say maquila, yeah, <laughs> but factory. we are not a maquila. You are not a factory, yeah. a textile yeah, factory. We, yeah, we we just. Uh, do the, the the goods, the goods. You just uh, uh, yeah, you that. just cut out the pieces. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Hey, so we provide how, that information. How hmm? nice! How nice it is that. So you are in the logistics section. So you do yeah. like this is the process. This is how you have to do it, organize and everything. Yeah, so. I'm in a little part of that because we uh, I'm in the order processing. And we have other teams uh, that are processing item creation, information management. Uh, we have the con managers. It's a, it's a big. <laughs> I know uh, it's a it's a big big company. I mean, it has a lot of. These are like like little engines, right? The engines yeah. that that work. And if one uh, of the engines is not working well, the other ones are going to get stuck, right? That's like the process yeah. of work. <laughs> That's cool. And it's very nice to be one of the most important ones, right? In your case, in the management, it is a very hard work to do. Yeah. What <laughs> is a warehouse? I explained you that yesterday. What is a warehouse? The place where we um, the save our products. The storage. The place where we put the products. The place where we put the products. <laughs> the place where we storage. What is the difference between putting the products and storaging the products? What will be the difference? Think about it. What will be the difference between putting out and storaging? Teacher, the huh? time no. is going to be there. Storage is put it on. The put on a long time. Okay, the time, yeah, what, it, what the was order, the order? The order that you put the, the things. Uh -huh. so, How do you call that order? Inventory. Where you, the inventory, very good job, right? That you know exactly what it is, what is the code, what is the name, the location, everything. In the past, it was on paper. Now it's electronic right you just go to the computer and they say what is the code ah 4024 yeah segunda linea cuarta cuarta caja que no sé qué ta 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 and you know where the things are imagine the one that is in charge of the inventory poor head the one that is in charge of that that is, he has to know every single name every single code every single location of everything so that's the difference between storage in and just pulling out, okay. right? The I, old school worked like this, like that. Yes, the old school was like with papers and everything and archiveros and all that with folios yeah. and row number three. Yes, <laughs> for example, I I really uh, when when I go to the social security and I love uh, all the doctors and everything of the world. But when I go to the social security and I go where the files are, I don't know if you have seen it. Han ido archivo alguna vez en el seguro social. Yes, I know. And that. you see all those folders. And I say, all that could be electronic. <laughs> but no. I'm pretty sure they don't have a system. They are starting, well, there, I think there is one hospital that does, 
And if I am not mistaken, it's MQ. I think it's the it's it has because one day I went like <clears throat> like five years ago and they had it. They said, like, what's your name? And I said, like, okay, Evelyn Natalie. Ah, ch -ch 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 -ch. ah yeah, here you are. And I was like, it's que moderno, is it? <laughs> and they, they do have maybe now it's a lot more modern. What about transport? We have just studied that one. Transport. Move the, 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 the process the of move. The process of moving, right? The process of moving mm -hmm. the goods from one place to another one. The product planning. What is it? You did it yesterday with your restaurant. Not yet, teacher. Ah, not, not, yet, not, yet, not yet. <laughs> The product planning is all the things related to the creation of your product. What do you need? For example, the ones on the Mexican restaurant. What do you need to create a taco? The ingredients. You need the ingredients. What else? Meal. Uh -huh. uh, the meat? Meat, chicken. The meat, or oh, right, the, the different, vegetables. The different vegetables. The tortillas. Sauces. Uh -huh. Bones. Avocado. Avocado, right? Avocado, avocado. The chili. But if you have all the materials Sauces. and you don't have the stove, it's not going to be possible. Do you know what a you stove need, is? You need the chef. Yeah, you need the chef. You need the cook, right? The cook of the, or the chef. You need the stove. You need the grill, right? Because you might have everything and you might have the stove. But what about the gas? If you don't have the gas, it's not going to be possible. So all this product planning involves also a, this type of process, right? It involves a lot. And the purchasing, the purchasing is like when you go and get the different things, right? That is purchasing. So uh, once we are done with this short review, we are going to go over the presentations. Here we have uh, the steps that I was mentioning before, right? Do you remember what was the first step? What was the step number one? Assessment. The internal. Yes. The last one is the number one. What about the second one? Uh, Develop a detailed plan for detailed. the selection process. Number three. Review the checklist. The checklist, checklist of triple capabilities. And number four. Evaluate, review, and review. select. Interview Evaluate, and review. Select interview and select right very good and this is what we just uh, review as well right transportation and private fleet management freight claim insurance cargo and the small package services good very good so here we have a uh, the uh, the little discussions that we have had during the class right third party logistic service improve customer satisfaction with accurate order fulfillment and on time delivery. Do you think, and what do you consider? Tell me yes or no. Do you consider that if you have a very good logistic service, you are going to improve customer satisfaction? Yes. Yes, teacher. And yes. the customer is going to be satisfied with the accurate order fulfillment? Yes. That he yes. is going to receive what he is asking for. For sure, something else that is important, on-time delivery. If you have these steps, for sure, your customers are going to be more than happy because they are going to receive it. What happens when you order for food at 7 p.m. and it is 9 p.m. and you receive horrible food that you didn't order? And also cold. 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 Ooh. And you are going to get angry. First, because you are hungry. The second one, because you didn't receive it on time. The third one, because you didn't receive what you asked for. And the fourth one, because you are not hungry anymore at the moment of receiving the delivery. So if you have a good logistic service, 
it's going to cover all these details. What about the second uh, discussion question that I have here? Diana, can you help me to read the second one? Well, letter B in this case. Yes. The three PLs reduce current cost. Cost manage management is still the number one priority for shippers and 3PLs often offer an advantage across the cost of their total operations. What is uh, the number one priority? Cost management. management. All the companies dance around how much money they are going to spend, right? The most important thing that everybody has in their, in their mind is how much, how much are you making? How much are you spending? How much is it? How much is the profit, right? And for sure, the three PLs are going to reduce the current cost because you are going to be able to bring things from another country, for example, and uh, it is going to be in an acceptable price, right? And you are going to be able to use it in your own company and you are going to improve your operations with better produce. And the last one here, the 3PL reduce risk. Do you think that if you have a very good logistics service, you are going to reduce the risks in your company? No. Yeah. How? How do you think you're going to reduce the risk? ¿Cómo minimizamos el riesgo al momento de tener un, un buen sistema de logística? Mm -hmm. Loss de order, for example. Okay, right. The, well, how do you reduce the risk? For sure, you are going to be organized. You are going to have everything in order. What else? Teacher, for example, in, in my work, mm -hmm. we, we have external warehouse, but not product. Uh -huh. uh, um, it's uh, files, files, archivos, yes. Uh, files, yes. Files, yes. Uh, for for example, financial state of the many clients, the the documents important important documents uh -huh. important documents reduce the risk of loss also information so okay also. yeah you you are not going to be like on the risk of losing your documents because they are storage in a very yes, specific uh, place. The name, is, the name is external company. We, we require is Pergaminos. Ah, yeah, I have heard about it. And well, so as you can see, it reduces the risk yes. of, you lo of losing your data. Lots of information, physical, and we have other companies the 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 reduce the risk the risk in electronic in the the, the files oh and electronic files yes very complete wow so you see that yes, is sir. yes tatiana when the energy doesn't work for example in my in my job we have a i don't know what is the name in english uh, power plant Power plant. A yes. power plant. When the when the energy is doesn't work, it starts to to work the the power the, plant. The power plant. Yes, and and we 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 are still working with the we don't stop. So. Uh huh. And that is going to reduce the risk of losing the products. Yes. Because the production never stops. Yes, it's sad because we want to lose our time, but well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, waste our time, but yeah, it, it is business. <laughs> business are business, right? Yes, I know, <laughs> and, and money never stops, right? Yes. It, indeed, right? Sure. I, I have seen that in the call centers as well that they have this power bank and, and they continue, <laughs> yes, mister. Thank you. 
I, I consider you can reduce the risk, for example, uh, analyzing the environment, because if you had a tornado or twister, or, or a twister know, uh -huh. you can uh, send the, the car to, to deliver if it could, could be the, the storm. <laughs> Yeah, the storm that we had the yeah. other day, right? Yes, I mean, you have to analyze. There are many other risks that for sure, even if you have the best system of logistics and all that, I mean, there are external sources that you need to consider as well. It's like, for example, you are not going to send your delivery guys uh, under a very heavy rain. Only yeah. if you send them by boat. <laughs> Go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> but take the pizza no right so you need to you need to also analyze the external factors right that are going to help you reduce the risk there you are going to play with the time you are not going to be on the exact time of the service but the service is going to be accomplished and completed right even out of the of the time but those are specific cases right not all the time like Es que estaba lloviendo. And it was very sunny, right? It's like, no le habíamos traído el pedido porque estaba lloviendo. Uh -huh. and, and there's nothing, like no rain at all. So you say things like that. Yeah, I mean, but I think it happens in small companies. When, when they are just starting, they don't have a logistic uh, service or they just work on their own, right? It, it is a... It is a very common thing on these deliveries that people do in, in marketplace or in places like those, like I, the traffic, and maybe the person is still at home. <laughs> it's like, ahorita salgo, they say, and maybe they are showering. <laughs> and they, they always say like, a las nueve en Metro Galería, 1 p.m. and you are like, waiting. <laughs> so, you need to work on this also. If you don't have like a big logistic service, if you offer a service, try to do it as organized as possible. So we have here a little interaction with Bob and Daisy. This is one of the last things that we're going to do and we move on business. Bob and Daisy. And it says, what about Bob? Let's read it. I need you to analyze the conversation first uh, to see if there is any vocabulary that you don't know. Tell me. Analyze, analyze the conversation for new words or new vocabulary. All this part. If you have a new word, tell me, teacher, what is the meaning of? And then I help you. No questions on vocabulary? Outsourcing. No, teacher. Outsourcing. Outsourcing. Chin, chin, chin. When you... Outsourcing. Uh -huh. What is outsourcing? When you someone else to do external something people. that... External, external people. people. External, external people. Yes. External yeah. people to do a specific yeah. task. In my in, yeah. teacher, the specific yeah. work in in my work we have uh, outsource. Uh -huh. outsource. Um, the name is outsourcing because it is also BPS business B process external external BPX. BPS. Hey. Business process solution. Ah, but external. I was like, what is the A? What is the E? Outsourcing. 
<laughs> okay. Solutions. Solutions. Very good. So uh, that is outsourcing, indeed. It's when you hire an external person to do a specific job. There are many things. For example, even the person who does the cleaning in a place, it can be outsourcing. Right, it can be from a company that they hire people just to do the cleaning. Right, they they have a specific janitors and they just go to do that. Right, the security, for example, it can be uh, from an outsource that you hire that you just like ask for. Or imagine in the case of Rocio, they do the cuts of the of the clothing, so they are an outsourcing company for these type of uh, factories where they build up the clothes. And in some cases, these factories are from the United States and they build up the clothes here. And then there in the United States, $200. Here, two, three. In the shopping center. There you go. Shopping center no me paga nada por estos comerciales. Just take, take it into detail. And it says, well, that's outsourcing. Any other word that you don't know? Any other one? We have outsourcing. Do you know what's the meaning of packaging? Packaging. When you put the things into a package, right? What about soap? What is soap? Oh. The things uh -huh. that you use when you take a shower? The things that you use when you take a shower, right? The sure. the the bubbling thing, yes? The soap, the soap is are selling like crazy. The soap is selling like crazy. So crazy. If it, this is an idiom. This is an idiom. <laughs> That's like the soap is selling like crazy. Porque el jabón no puede estar vendiendo como loco. No. Right? It's like el jabón, 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 cómpreme. No, right? The soap is selling like crazy. It's like, like hot bread. Yes. Like that they are buying it uh, uh, like at any cost. And I believe it could help us to sell more. So let's read the conversation in an organized way. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. There is no more room in our house, in our house, for more of your organic soup. Not soup, right? Soap. Do you, soup is the one that you drink, right? Soup. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third-party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage, right? That they say, if you don't, if it doesn't fit in your house, bring it here. We are going to storage for you. Uh, on your way to Santa Ana, I don't know if you have seen it. Uh, Camino Santa Ana, hay oh, unas grandes bodegas where they storage this thing. These are third party logistics because they help all these big companies like American Park, y La Salle, and all these places to store the material, right? Blue logistics. Blue logistics, yes. I don't think so. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service, right? To the best yeah. of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. So that they are not going to do the packaging at home, but they are going to uh, hire someone else to do it, right? Here, who is the one who makes the soap? Who is the one who makes soap? Bob or Daisy? Daisy. Daisy is the creator of the soap, right? And what is the problem with it? They don't have a space to, to, to no storage the, 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 soap. the organic soap. Okay. They don't have a space. Right, they don't have a space to storage. And for sure, are they going to hire a third-party logistics service? 
to provide storage. Uh -huh. Probably, <laughs> probably, right? To provide the storage. But what are they going to find first? What are they going to hire first? Before oh. going to the outsourcing, be, sorry, before going to the third party logistics, they are going to try with something else. What is it? Outsourcing. Outsourcing and packaging. What? The packaging, the right? Package. Outsourcing the packaging. What does it mean? That they are just going to make the product and someone else is going to pack it and deliver. So she's not going to be keeping the packages, right? Because maybe she was like preparing, creating, packaging, and storaging in their same house. So she's not going to do it anymore. Let's go and read it. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. There is, there no, is more no more room, room in, in our house, house for more of your organic soap. 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 The soap. 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 Ok. Soap. Ahora dígamelo como que yo le llené la casa de jabones y usted ya no puede caminar por ningún lado. Ya se enojó. Ya odia el jabón. Ya. One, two, three. There is, there no, is no more room, 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 room in our house for Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? Yeah, but you are you are my, like mad, angry. Ya están como ya. Ay no ya. Jabón ya. Ya no. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? Don't you, don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? Right. You are disappointed, right? You don't you don't fit in the house anymore. It's like oh my god. Here soap. Here soap. Here soap. <laughs> Everywhere soap. I found something called third-party logistics in Google. I found something, I found something third -party third -party logistics logistics on Google. Google. Found something called third-party logistics on Google. Third-party logistics. Third-party logistics. Don't say third, okay? Third, no. Third. Third. It's like first. It's not first, okay? First. First. first, I found something called third party logistics on Google. I found, I found something, something called third party, third party logistics, 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 logistics on, Google. on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. This service, this service could help you out with the storage. The storage. With the storage. Ok, ahora ustedes enamoradísimos de su jabón es como lo mejor del mundo. I don't think so, Bob. I don't, I, think don't so, think I don't think so, Bob. As far as I, I know, the business so, is not big enough to hire a third party service. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. <sighs> to the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it will be to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. 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 Okay, when you say like choose a couple of those companies that you are talking about, it's like yeah, see, 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 yeah, yeah, anyway, man. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Just a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. It is like, aha, aha. Yeah, it's like, they see, it's like, see, 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 yes, Bob, aha, aha. Call them, call them, aha, whatever thing. Just to stop talking about the topic, right? Because Bob was a little bit disappointed about this. So it's like, I know, enough, right? It is like, I have a friend, I have a friend who started with one cat and I love cats. I think they are the, my favorite animals of the whole world, yeah. but she started with, with one cat and then with two 
And then with three. And then with four. And then with five. And now she has six. And I love them and they are so beautiful. But I think uh, I think her mother is like that. Like there is no more room in our house for those cats. <laughs> And then you have a shelter of cats. I think she will be. I, I, I make fun of her and I say like, hey, we're going to put them there <laughs> on little boxes on the window. <laughs> so people can buy them. Yeah, because uh, they are very beautiful. I mean, she has she has the money to, to take care of them, definitely. And so she's like, yeah, another one and another one there is no like more that. room yeah <laughs> I, I love them I love them I don't have a space to have them but I would love to have them and just because Kiara eats them little detail little thing and why do you have cats teacher little detail it's just issues <laughs> some issues you say like the like the meme some issues there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Daisy, you all of you are Daisy, okay? <sighs> Students, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third-party logistics on Google. This service could help all of you with the storage. I don't, I don't think, think so, think so well. but as, as far, far as, as I know, know the business is not big enough, enough to hire enough a third-party third service. Third party service. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Don't you think well, so? Well, well, I, was, I was actually, I was actually more thinking of, of, of sourcing the package. The package. Choose, Choose a couple of, of those companies, companies from, the from the internet and then, and then we, we can, can call them, them to get advice. some get advice. 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 Okay, now I am Daisy. Me and all my soap, we are very happy to be here. I am going to take all my soap. We are very happy here. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> There's I have no all my There's no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take some out of the house? Take business out of the house. Third party logistics. Third party logistics. This service will help you with the storage. 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 Bob, I don't think so. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party logistics service. Oh, sorry. To the best, the best of my of knowledge, the best to my knowledge, I'm selling like crazy. Like crazy. Like crazy. Like crazy. Like crazy. Like crazy. I believe it will help you to sell more. Well, you know, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging on these little boxes, and um, but I don't know what you say. Choose a couple of those companies that you say from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Look at the packages; they are very beautiful. So beautiful. He will be like. How bonitos or inside. <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear class. You're, you convinced me. We're going to get the third party logistics service. And last but not least, with the questions Are Bob and Daisy having problems to storage their products? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Do you think the products, the products are affecting the relationship? Yes. Maybe. Yes. It might be, right? Maybe because the business is, is the basic. Yeah, the business Bob, is the Bob, business and the house is the house. Bob sounds angry. Bob sounds angry. It's like, it's like come on, like, stop it. <laughs> Uno veinte millones más. <laughs> Do they know about the three PLs? Do they know a lot about the three PL logistics no. service? No. No. A lot? No. no. A lot? No, right? I do you think, think the, yeah because they google it that's good do you think bob and daisy will consider prices when hiring a 3pl yes ah because they say the business is not big enough right because they don't have that much money to hire for sure a 3pl service Okay, and as I always say here, you also have some uh, videos on the manual for you to watch, check and analyze for extra vocabulary. And to finish with unit number two, we did this at the beginning of the unit, but we're going to cover it a little bit 
in general. Expressions of uncertainty, right? We studied them before. And here, let me just keep silence. There you go. And what are the expressions of uncertainty? They are used when you need to say that you are not certain about something or that something may or not or may not be true. Or when you have incomplete knowledge about the situation, right? You are not sure. You are just guessing. You say like, mm, I don't know. I have a lot of doubts about it. Use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they precede a clause, right? When it's like, not to my knowledge, when you use it at the beginning, as far as I know, you have to put a comma. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. It's like, ah, no es que me agrade decirte esto, no lo sé, pero no, no me gustaría decirlo. But the current fin financial situation may lead to layoffs. It's like, ah, we're going to cut out some uh, expenses. Did we get any report? on when to expect the products? Not to my knowledge, they say. I don't know, I think they are delayed. As far as I know, most companies selling goods use the TPL for at least some domestic functions. And the ones that I was mentioning, right? Like cleaning, security, organization, um, different uh, situations that you need in the company. I doubt, and it is very unlikely, do not need to be followed by a comma. Right. I doubt, and it is very unlikely, you don't need to put a comma. I doubt it is a good idea to hire a 3PL if you need to control the safety of your company's shipment. And the next example, it is very unlikely for a medium-sized business to be able to do shipping on its own. It is very unlikely to a medium-sized business to be able to do shipping on its own. It's like they need to hire someone to do the shipping because they are not a small business. They are a medium-sized place. Yes, Mr. Manuel? Teacher, for example, the, the, there are, in my knowledge, three, we have three clients. For example, the Old Navy stores. Uh -huh. And there is uh, Forever 21. Uh -huh. And the... Sorry, 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 sorry. Can you, the microphone, can you reactivate it, please? There you go. Okay. Mine is my bad, and, okay. And the next, I don't remember. So they they haven't the service of accounting. Ah, so they are outsourcing they have the an account. office, physical office in, in, in the country, in our country. So, so they, they, they outsource. Yes, they, they need the three PLs in logistics and storage and accounting service. Imagine, those are the things that we didn't know, right? Yeah. And, <laughs> and we, and now we, we provide do. them the service of accounting. Wow, so you see in this case, it is very, now you make the click, right? Of all the, the knowledge, right? Yeah, you yeah, have the good. service, they need it. So for sure you provide it, even when you are not related with the company. Well, yes. Right? That's a very good thing. So we have the living example, right? Aquí tenemos los ejemplos, pero en vivo. That's very nice. And this is what we did in the platform. We did it yesterday. We did this specific exercise. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, or it is very unlikely, but we might need to charge to change our distributors, right? It has a comma here. So it yeah. is very unlikely, doesn't have a comma after it. So this one, it's not an option, okay? I wouldn't like to say this for certain, comma, but we may need to change our distributors, right? Estos pequeños detallitos nos, nos marcan mucha diferencia. Did the managers finish evaluating the three PLs? Not, not in my, my knowledge. knowledge, not to my knowledge, because you have it here, right? Not to my knowledge. Doubt it or I doubted it. I doubt it. I doubt. I doubted it, no, right? To the best of my knowledge or not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of my, to knowledge. The best of my knowledge. And it is very unlikely or as far as I know. 
It is very unlikely. Very it is unlikely. very unlikely. It is very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global service. So here we are going to talk about the inbound and outbound. Yes. And why, for sure, PK? why? <laughs> because we are going to work on that. <laughs> No, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. No, no, I don't really know, right? <laughs> and here, for sure, you have the logistic services to the corresponding meaning. This is what we just did in the platform, right? The LEED certification, the freight forwarding service, the disaster recovery plan, and the cross-docking capability. That is exactly what we did right here in the platform. Hi. My internet. Thank you, my internet service provider. Right? That is just what we just did here in this section of the platform. Right? And in this one, so like uh, we're going to check on statements of the TPL candidates. Right? Uh, for this one, I was planning to do it after the presentations, but we can do it right now. Here, it says, please check the column yes or no for each of the statements about the TPL candidates. Discuss the following checklist with the areas that you consider evaluating. In this case, we're going to do it after you provide the service of your restaurant. But let's read them for us to get some vocabulary, okay? They are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. They have great references. They have a disaster recovery plan. They offer cross-docking capability. They offer freight forwarding services. They have experience in the countries in which you do business. And they have LED, LEED, leadership in energy and environmental design. That is the meaning, right? Leadership yeah. in energy in, yeah. and environmental design certification. So for your company, for your restaurant, for example, if you are going to get a 3PL candidate, all of this one should be very important. They are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. Maybe they are not that long in the business and they are good, but if they have a lot of years on the market and they are very stable and they have everything that you need, for sure it's a good candidate. They have great references. References are important, right? Because if other companies are using them and they say, yes, that's a very good outsourcing. That's a very I good place. You. They recommend it. Yes, Mr. Manuel, your hand is up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, one example for the, the first one, we, we work for MOP. Ah. Uh, so, so it has a long history of successful operation. Okay, but they 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 need we have a, a long history of successful operation, also financially financially stable. Stable, right? Stable. That you are not that you are not in, in debt yes. with the government. For example, for example, for example, for example, for example. example um we we work with um axa uh-huh axa is a the company, company the, this for, the, uh -huh. the insurance do you know yeah i AXA? know them yeah they are near um, the place where i work <laughs> okay they provide yes they provide what do you say Cuando yo necesito que usted me, me garantice, ah, guarantee. Guarantee. Guarantee, que usted me garantice ah, una fianza, la fianza. Well, the finan financial insurance support. Okay. But the important is, is, is financially stable. If you are financially stable, because yes. if not, you are not going to receive any help. No. It's like, ah, I know, you stand out there. Sorry. <laughs> so you need to have great references. Uh, for sure, the cross-docking capability, the freight forwarding services. If they have experience with other countries, if you buy things from a different country. And for sure, if you need this type of certification for your building. And if they have it, they will be 
for sure a very good candidate. Well, my dear little students, let's work. It's time for action. It's time for the action, right? It's time for the action. I I really want, I didn't really want to do an evaluation checklist of a third party logistic partner. I better took this into action. And that's why you did this, uh, this plan and this uh, activity in groups because it was a lot more interactive, right? I really like it more. And in the next unit, we're going to talk about the warehouse, right? So that will be next week, right? For you to start checking in advance what we are going to be doing next week. So right now, we are going to work. Clap. Black. No, how was it? Black. <laughs> For you to wake up. I have a lot of cameras that are off. Uh -huh. Where are you? Where are you? Hey, Christian, very elegant. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I have a dinner. Oh, nice. <laughs> She's ready for the party. She's ready for the party. The only party that I will have is with the pajama. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. The, the hey. The, th <laughs> <laughs> the, the third, third party. Right now, the, the third party logistic is the husband. <laughs> or, or, the or, husband, yes. Yeah, because he's organizing everything, right? The car, everything, the things and all that. And she's just there looking fantastic. And she's just ready. She outsourced mm -hmm. all the other services. Even the shoes and everything. It's like, ah, el zapato, por favor, gracias. Outsourcing <laughs> the help. <laughs> and the boyfriend, yeah, yeah, yeah behind everything. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. You see, Rocio Veronica, it's ready for action as well. <laughs> Good. Oh, my God. So you're going to take it out right now that you're going to go and work with your group. Okay. So, <laughs> before, right? Yep, I am going to take attendance before so you can go and work, right? Así si nos quedamos presentando hasta la una de la mañana, no hay problema. Carito. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, so let's see. Sorry for my dog. Esta ladra y se oye en toda la colonia. Gracias, yo tengo un chihuahua. Que ahora es como 20 chihuahuas uno encima de otro. She's, Chiara is, is her name. Yeah, Chiara, that's her name. And it's a very big animal. She's like a mini yeah. pony. She's like a pony. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I have a question. Yeah. In the name of, of, of animals, uh -huh. we, we can name, we can, what do we call it? For example, for example uh, when I say, this is my, this is my dog. Um, her name, his name. Her name, her name is, is, is a, is a. If it's a, well, if you explained before that it's a, it's a girl or a boy. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. It's your, your mute. No, it's que, que me estaba ladrando a la <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> My little horse. Uh, yeah, if you explain that the, uh, he or she, it's a, it's a, well, the type of, of animal that you have, like in the case of Diana, that she was explaining about the cat. Her name? That his they name? Say her name, his, his name. name. And many people say its name is, right? Mm -hmm. Because it refers to an animal and you can also do it. But if you want okay. to specify that it's a boy or a girl, you can say her name. Uh, her name is. His name is. Oh, okay. uh -huh. But you talk, but you mentioned already that they are animals. So it's like, yes. I have four cats. Their names are, and then you start. Uh -huh. Diana, yes. Uh, now I'm with my dog. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's a, 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 a sausage. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, that, that's like the mini version of Kiara. But... <laughs> that's the pocket version of my dog. Oh, what a Perfect. cute little thing. Yeah. Yeah, you see? Es que es la versión, la versión mini. 
Es así, <risa> igualito es Kiara, pero en... Como en... Diana, pero ella tiene un nombre, de llaman salchicha. ¡Oh, look at Rosa! <risa> Rosa is showing her dog. Ah, look at that. What a beautiful thing. This is the show and tell moment. <laughs> Good. So, my dear class, let's go with the groups. I am going to go and make the groups for you to catch up a little bit, for you to organize. And then we're going to come back and present. I am going to do the group of, let me see. And Claudia, no, Cristia, what, is, what are the other members of your group? Uh, the other members were Linda I know, I don't know. Manuel. Yes. Manuel. Yes. Uh... No. Yes. Uh, no, I have a I have a No, problem. you are not in the group. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry. Maria, Maria Melendez. Uh -huh. yes. Miguel. Miguel. Uh, Miguel. Miguel, Miguel Domínguez, Silvia Zuleima, Ajá, Silvia Zuleima, and the other one, I don't remember, but, uh, <laughs> okay, it was, I don't remember, Claudia Maria, Claudia Maria was in your group, right, yes. we have yes. Claudia Maria, Cristia, Jose Carlos, Jose Carlos Argueta is missing, is missing, Jose yes. Carlos Argueta is missing, Miguel Angel and Silvia, Okay, yes. very good. So the, he's, he is one group. Let's go with the next one. I will go with Jose Rodrigo. Hi, Jose Rodrigo. He hasn't come. Manuel Antonio. Yes. So Manuel is not in the, in the previous one. Manuel Antonio. Norma Carolina. Right. We have also, let me see here. Okay, okay. And let me just add another one. I am going to add uh, Carolina, Juan, Rosa Beatriz. Who else? Nelson. Ah, I, I found the group of Manuel. Manuel, Norma, and Olga and Tatiana. Olga and Tati. Hey, Tati. What happened with Tati? Tati. Se me perdió la tati. And I have here room uh, three. I will have uh, Rocio Verónica. Yes, with Jan, Berto, and yes. Rocio. Yvette, Jorge, and. Rocio, I... Yvette, Diana, and Jorge, right? Yes. Jorge Humberto, good. And let me see, I am going to add the next one. Juan de Dios, who are you working with? Juan de Dios, Carolina, and Rosa. Hey. Juan de Dios and Rosa, only, imagine. Huh? And let me see. Who am I missing? Uh, Marlene, uh, Marlene, you were not here yesterday. Nelson, you are with? Who are you working with, Nelson? Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Hello, I don't remember, teacher. Ah, it's because I think you lost your connection at the end of the class. Creo que se nos fue al final de la clase, Nelson. No lo uh, tengo en los listados. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Con quién estaba no. trabajando en grupo? Mr. Nelson es... With... In group three. With me. In group oh, three. Juan de Dios. Yes. Yes. Ajá, Juan de Dios. Yo sí. Ay, ya ven, niños. I told you. <laughs> There you go, Nelson. Okay, good. Very good. Excellent. So I have, I am missing a couple of students. I am Thank missing uh, Linda y Bet. Linda y Bet. Yes. Marlene en Omar. Justo los tres que me hicieron falta ayer. Okay, Linda, eh, remember we have your one-on-one -on -one at the end of the class, okay? Ayer se lo cedimos a Manuel Antonio. Le tocaba a usted, pero hoy le tocará. Let's see. I am going to send you to the different groups for you to see what we did, okay? Tal vez no, no lo vamos a tener como en, en, en... No le van a asignar ahí. Explica tal cosa. No, right. Pero para que vean qué fue lo que hicimos ayer. Voy a poner uno en cada grupo. Okay, Marlene. And here I am going to assign... En Omar. Hey, I lost Omar. 
There you go. So let's go to the rooms right now for you to discuss and how you're going to explain what you did yesterday. Let's go to the rooms. There you go. You're going to receive your invitation right now. Go ahead, go ahead. There you go. Omar, I send you an invitation to join a group. There you go. So now students are going to get ready with their, um, well, they're going to present what they did yesterday with the inbound and the outbound logistics process of a restaurant. So we hope they have everything ready to present today. And uh, we're going to give them some minutes for them to organize, for them to talk among with the group. And I'm going to be visiting, visiting them to see how they are developing their presentations. Let's go and check. Hello. Teacher, eh, no nos permite compartir. Ahí voy. I am going right now. Por fin. Don't worry, don't worry. Now you can do it and here we go. Okay. Try. Thank you. Try, try, try. Yes. Yes. Great. Thank you, teacher. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Vaya. Eso es lo que yo hice. De acuerdo a lo que entendí. Very good. No sé si está bien, si hay que cambiar algo. Yes, it's a good presentation. Warehouse, call room. Compra y de. Yes. And, and create business. Yes. So I don't know if you can, you, if you want to hear my part. Okay. Okay. Uh, our restaurant is of Mexican food. And the first step uh, is we will make an inventory of all bakery of selectos. Excellent. And the the trucks. Uh -huh, the, that we can say that the selectos provide to us because we sell to them. Mm -hmm. And the, the I trucks? forget, the, the delivery men. The, the trucks are, are, are property of the bakery or it's a, a three party. A third party logistics. Three, are you, are you outsourcing the trucks? Or um, we are the owners so, of the of the trucks. I don't know. What do you because want? Because, because <laughs> you, you can you can be the. I mean, it's your company. You can be the owner. Yes, we can be the owners. Yeah. There is no problem with that. Yes, I mean and we, we have, have trucks. a lot of employees. <laughs> we are the employees of the Anna teacher. No, the five of us <laughs> are the owners. <laughs> you are the outsourcing. <laughs> or, or we are business? a team. <laughs> the what? Sorry, Sorry but... a family business. Yes. It can be yeah. a family business. Very good. Yes, yes. Sounds good. But my name sounds better with bakery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, Bye. because uh, imagine why didn't you have Umberto's bakery? <laughs> we didn't think about it. Yeah. The only one man in the group. Yeah. Um, um, Umberto's You are a fortune. <laughs> Umberto's, bakery. Umberto's bakery. Yeah, los los ángeles de Umberto. <laughs> Sounds good, teacher. The next group. Yeah. 
Thank well, but it, it next looks, rest around it week nice. eight. Teacher, <laughs> the, yeah? the idea this super selectors was uh, or is the the main distributor. How how is the correct name to to say to say that? That uh, they are they are your main. Well, they, in that case, they are going to be your retailer. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are going to be a retailer because you are going to sell the, them and they are going to sell in the different stores in, in detail, right? Okay. Um, so they, they are they are retail. They are retail. your retailer, huh? Uh, okay. 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 They are your retailers. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, that, super that, super select of pajaritos thing there there you go <laughs> very good excellent so i am going to go and check the last group to see if they are ready and we start okay okay so team i don't know how and, and also we need to uh, take the first part of the breath and and put on this the vegetable the and the cheese, white 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 cheese. okay, white cheese, white cheese, white, okay. you say white, white, ah, white, white cheese. cheese, white, white cheese. cheese, white, white cheese, cheese. Ah, okay, and white then, cheese. and then the sauce, um, pepper, Ketchup, mayonnaise, 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 mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Uh, mustard, mustard, good, mustard, uh, the lettuce, 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 lettuce. Uh, tomatoes, tomato, onion, le, onion este, pickles, uh, Pickles. pickles. Pickles, good. The pickles, pickles pepinillos. Uh -huh. The pickles. Pepinillos, yes. And to, fi to finish the process, we are going to put the last part of the bread. Uh -huh. And okay. the bacon. You need to put and bacon. If it bacon. is a hamburger, bacon. bacon. I, I, I love the bacon. <laughs> Me <We> too. Bacon. <laughs> I, mean, I love yeah. the, hamburgers. Are good. The tocino. Yeah, that like that bacon is tocino, bacon. Yes. So hamburger for sure, the hamburger with bacon. Hamburger is better with bacon, definitely. Yes, yes. It's like the hamburgers are good, but if they have bacon, they are perfect, right? Yes. But mm -hmm. that a reasonable amount of bacon is not like imagine that this is the big hamburger and the piece of bacon is like this, right? <laughs> no, no, that's not from bacon. Because you know, is I have it hungry. Double. double bacon. Yeah, I'm I'm double, hungry. Now. Double portion of bacon. <laughs> and we are like, we are very hungry. <laughs> okay, okay let's angry. let's go back. We are going to to go and present. Okay, let's we are go. go. We are okay, teacher. Yes, but uh, present With the, the process. Topic? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, Mr. Nelson. Hello, hello. Hello. I Hi. think Diana is convincing someone to is, do something. Is this the same? Is it the Sorry. same group or? <laughs> that my dog is awake and she wants to go out. Ah, yeah, you oh, had so. you had the face. Because, because she's hungry, teacher. She's hungry, yeah. Poor, poor, yeah. No, no they, she remember. runs a lot, and now I I couldn't take her out. Oh, that's why. Yes. Yeah, because you had the you me. had the convincement face. It was like, mm, mm. 
Yeah, yeah, sorry. I forgot that I have Daddy? the camera. No, nah, yeah, don't worry. We... A dog, yes. She has a dog and, and cats. That's beautiful <laughs> that they are friends. Mm. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> a little bit. Well, yes. in, in a very quick way, uh, we're going to call the attendance, okay? Okay. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Uh, Claudia Maria? Present teacher. Christian Natalie? Present. Diana Elizabeth? Present teacher. Jorge Humberto? Present teacher. Jose Carlos? Jose Carlos? Se me dio la fuga, huh? He's asleep right now. Yeah, he went to sleep. No, but he was here. I don't know what where he, he went. Jose Rodrigo? Otro que se me dio la fuga. Jose Rodrigo, Jose Rodrigo. Chen, chen, chen. Okay, huh? It's Friday. Ah, uh, yeah. He just appeared for a second. Uh, Juan de Dios? Present. Linda Ivette? Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Uh, let's go here with Miguel Angel. Present. Present. Nelson. Present. Norma Present. Carolina. Thank you, Nelson. Present teacher. Olga Marlene. Present teacher. Rocio Veronica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Rosita, Rosita Beatriz, eh, another one who ran away. Okay, Rosa Beatriz. Eh, Silvia Suleima. Present teacher. Tatiana Michelle. And Bill Maivet. And Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. Present. And Danny. Okay, let's move on business. Group number one, the stage is yours. Claudia, Cristian, Miguel, and Silvia. Action. Okay, good evening uh, all. About our, our business is a restaurant of Mexican food. And uh, regarding in both logistics, uh, we have the first, we will make an inventory of all the ingredients and utensils that we are going to need to prepare the different dishes. And uh, we, we will also make an inventory of the drinks that we are going to offer to our clients. In order to obtain the product at the best price, we are going to buy them in a beverage store. Okay. We are going to create an app with the help of our sourcing services to take orders and deliver it. Uh, the options of the app will be um, select a menu, make a note about your order, uh, have an uh, account, and if you have a uh, reclaim, reclamo, you can do it, <laughs> or a devolution. If you have a disclaim. Okay, okay. good. It will be coordinate to place to purchase order for new orders with one month in advance of the day to use the product in the kitchen as meat, vegetable, spice, drink, and others. And we shall be extreme coordination for the supply of perishable Product, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Perchable uh, product. Perchable product. And the order of the client must be attended according to the moment they are received. In the other words, that the order is demised to later than within the following 15 minutes. Okay, okay. so you're going to leave 15 minutes in, in, in the difference of the order of clients. Mr. Miguel? Okay, the function of delivery service, uh, the company receives the order, uh, processing the information of the full sale product, uh, the transaction and the customer. Uh, second, uh, the company prepares the order, proceeding with the packaging of the merchandise. Uh, merchandise. The merchandise and with the organization for the dispatch. 
the order. Okay. It is a very organized restaurant. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so uh, do you have any special offers for the clients? Do you think that you're going to offer a special offers for the clients? Maybe uh, the Tuesday and Friday, we have the offer of if you buy a uh, one burrito, you, <laughs> you can get uh, two tacos. Okay, if you get one burrito, you can, uh, if you buy one burrito, you can get two tacos. So you see, that would be, yes. be Burrito Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> Very good. This is not Taco Tuesday. This is Burrito Tuesday. That's pretty good. Nice. Purchase now. Call now. What is, Call the, name? Now. What is the name of your restaurant? Um, the Taquito. The Taquito. The taquito. I don't know. Taquito is the Very good. Taquito. Está rico ese taquito. Marca ¿no? registrada, ya. Yeah. Definitely. Very good job. A very, a, I really like the idea of having this order of orders to have like different uh, like uh, departments for attention, suppliers, uh, buying, purchasing, etc. Right. That is a very uh, into detail of the logistics process. Thank you very the much. Order uh -huh. offer, uh, uh, order website is free. Uh, hey, nice. 15 minutes. 15 minutes or, or it is free. <laughs> that's cool. Right? If you order through the website. Hey, that's very nice. Good ideas. We're going to we're going to get very good business from this class. Group number two, Linda, Manuel, Norma, and Olga. Thank you, group one. Claps for group number one, people. Yay! Very good job. Group number two, Linda, Manuel, Norma, and Olga. Okay, okay teacher. Uh, we can try to uh, change my presentation. Your pres presentation. 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 Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> Manuel. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, welcome to our, our, our restaurant. When, when you can enjoy all different dishes, dishes and we are opening 24 hours nice <laughs> you can enjoy of different uh, dishes and and places with our family it's a big pleasure to to you visit visit us and we we have a uh, more information for for you. Or or our restaurant is a very very complete. Um, we 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 have um, a very 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 information. Barrier. Thank you. Very barrier. Very. Varied, que tenemos como diversidades. Varied, oh, okay. The, the next one is uh, for more information. Uh, Olga. Miss Olga, go ahead. Okay. Miss Olga. Okay, thank you. We think that for a good start for our restaurant, we take the next steps. Number one, about the purchasing and supplies for production planning. We have in the in the new material flour, rice, corn, meat, chicken, and different sauces. And the step number two, we have about the storage, the product, a cool room, and freezer. Continue with normal. Okay. They promote uh, the production and general uh, sales, advertising, social media, TV, radio, brochure, etc. This uh, with a good presentation of the food to make it look a bit appetizer. 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 Son como la entrada, right? To make it look yeah. delicious, right? Delicious. Yes, teacher. I'm sorry. 
um, create a promotion, two for one, for example, or free tickets, uh, free soda, for example, for combo. Nice. Linda? <laughs> The next is Linda. Linda. Okay, sorry. Uh, and the last part, uh, good profit, start bonuses and incentives. Incentives. This, hey, uh -huh. this means that if the business is going well, the, the employee is growing, the employees get better benefits, like um, maybe could be good free food and the work. Uh, they pay over time uh, they have life insurance and besides the 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 tip that is distributed in between all employees hey that's a very good thing right all the tips are distributed among all the employees good mm -hmm. i really like the idea sure. of the, of the sure. logistics yes uh, for for all for all uh, more information if you need to work at a good a good place, we are hearing now. <laughs> okay, so they are hiding, you see? Yeah, they are yes. hiding. <laughs> hiding. Very good job. <laughs> Thank you, group number two. Very nice. Hey, thank you. Thank Very you. nice process yeah. of logistics. Thank I you. like that you consider yeah. everything. Yeah. Group number three. Thank you, Yvette Alvarado. Thank you, Yvette, for sharing. Uh, Diana? Uh, let's see, we're going to go with Diana, Yvette, Jorge, and Marlene. Me. <laughs> go ahead. And Rocío. Siempre se me sale <laughs> Rocío de, de la lista. There you go. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Marlene is going to start. Go, Marlene. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, this is my group, and um, well, um, oh, next. <laughs> oh, the name, the name, the name is Diana Schweitzer. Uh huh. Um, this is a uh, one of our bakery shop or family business, and the oh the name is Diana Bakery and we create the best dessert and the series. Okay, our main products are cakes to all kind of events. We bake different kind of cakes. We have a lot of flavors and type of cakes. Uh, we buy our products at the Selecto supermarket with a great discount, and later you will know why. All the ingredients that we buy are storage in a fresh place and the cakes are kept in a freezer. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Hello. In the picture, you can see the facilities how my partner say uh, this is a familiar bakery. Then we have a facility that comes with uh, the office, the manufacturing, the packaging, etc. You can see also the ingredients that could be uh, organic, organic if you want. And also in the picture, you can see the employees. The bakeries count with 20 employees that are very prepared to, to make the, the best uh, cakes. cakes or cakes. And, the, and in addition, you can see the storage, the storage when the product you can, you can see or the clients can see. And that's it, teacher. <laughs> And that's it, is it. That's for you to store the products and to show them. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, we sell our products through our retail channel. Uh, as Diana said, uh, Super Selectos is the retailer for our cakes. Um, we have some catalogs of our cakes and Super Selectos shows the catalog to the clients. 
and the client choose the some choose some cake and super select those make a, a customer order and then send us after all uh, we take the orders and make the cakes at diana's bakery <laughs> Uh, we have our own trucks to distribute the cakes to the different supermarkets and to our customers who make a special order. Thank you, everybody. And that's it, right? Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Very good Enjoy. logistic, right? You consider <laughs> everything, even who was going to take the orders, the where to sell them, and everything. And that's why they say they are going to buy at Super Selectos because they are going to be the retailer of this uh, process. Very prepared. Yeah. They're very prepared. <laughs> Diana's Bakery, Umberto's Angels, it was the name of the bakery. <laughs> and that was that, original. <laughs> The original name. Last but not least, Mr. Juan de Dios and Nelson, tell me. Hello, good evening. Hello. Uh, fast food hamburger. Hey, we're going uh, to cook hamburgers. Good. Yes, a product are about in the supermarket, uh, soup as a tomato, chili, pepper, onion, garlic, lettuce, pickles, meat. Uh, mayonnaise, mustard, cap sauce, uh, black sauce, etc. And this product are stored in a cold room. Okay. Okay, they are in a cold room after you get the products. And then, Juan de Dios, what do you do with the products? Um, okay. Uh, the name of the restaurant is Inglés Corporativo. <laughs> for everybody that hamburger is still having the, di the dinner, uh -huh. and... they are going to be hungry. Uh, yeah. yes. I'm having angry. I am yes. hungry. You say, I am hungry. I am hungry. I am hungry. Yes, uh, we are going to work uh, with the people that can can uh, visit our restaurant and, and people at home that that want to call uh, to our uh, telephone 255 0000 we are going to send the the order to Eh, pedido ya eh, Uber, <laughs> eh, Uber it. <laughs> e commerce Where, wherever you want eh, uh. we are going to pack packing the product in a paper bag mm -hmm. eh, to sell to send to the customer so you are a small company with a small packaging service right yeah. so later on when you grow you are going to get this uh, a logistic party, right? A third party logistic. Sure. Thank you, Juan de Dios and Mr. Nelson for this hamburger heaven, English Corporativo hamburgers. Okay, all of you, <laughs> all of you are the owners. Oh. Well, my dear class, it was such a pleasure to serve you today, to work with you, to listen to the fantastic ideas that you have. You see, I, I really like uh, to take things into reality, right? Uh, me gusta que leamos el manual, que veamos todo el, el, el concepto, vocabulario y todo, pero ya cuando ustedes ponen la idea en proceso, it's a different thing, because you can discover how creative you can become and you can be like analyzing and using the language in the real way. Well, I am going to stay only with Linda for a couple of minutes. Have a beautiful night, the rest of the class, and I'm going to see you on Monday. Have a beautiful weekend. If you haven't finished anything on the platform, Please complete everything, okay? Si le faltó algún detallito, algún ejercicio, completenlo ya. Okay, have a beautiful you, night teacher. and I'm going to see you. Have a nice weekend. On Monday, bye-bye. Have a nice night. Have a nice night, bye-bye. Nice weekend. Bye-bye, nice, nice weekend, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I will stay with Linda for a couple of minutes. Hello, Silvita, creo que nos dejó la silla ahí. 
Ahí viene Silvita. Bye, Silvita. Ajá, ya la caché vagando. Good, good night. Good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. Ah, la caché vagando. Ok, linda. How are you? Uy, I cannot listen to you. No le oigo. Ahí estamos. Hoy sí. Ok. Yes, I am very good teacher. Thank you. Thank you. We were missing you yesterday. What happened? Yes, teacher, sorry. I have been trouble problems with the transportation. Oh, really? Yesterday and today it was difficult aboard the bus and it was I don't know what happened. Yeah, today I think it because it was Ciudad Delgado's celebration. And they um, were having this, this the very, very crazy traffic jam. And th that's why the traffic was really crazy. I don't know where, where, where do you live, Linda? For Mariona, teacher, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe it was because of that. Uh -huh. It affected, yeah, because they have this celebrate, the local celebrations, the local parties in La Fiesta Patronales. Uh -huh. And it was very crazy. I mean, the traffic was horrible all over San Salvador. Oh, yeah. It's well, <laughs> it's, it was Friday as well and payday. So it was very crazy. Yeah. Well, Linda, in general, how have you felt in classes? Good. Sometimes I maybe I, I don't understand. Maybe it's my comprehension. Comprehension, uh huh. Uh, Oh, I don't speak or pronounce the pronunciation is difficult. Okay, you have issues with pronunciation, but in general with the content and everything with explanations and the grammar it, and all this. I, I understand. Uh, oh, maybe the, the last, uh, what, idioms. 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 Uh, the idioms. Yeah, the, the phrases that we were studying. Like, I, I forget what it means, the phrases. <laughs> yeah, I, in I, those I, cases, I, for example, when you talk about idioms, the problem with that is to, to try to put them into practice. Because just by letting the, by knowing the, the, the phrases, it's like, ah, yeah, I got the idea. And maybe I am going to remember it later. But uh, you have to bring them into practice from time to time and they are going to be they, then you're going to rem, to remember them and what about the platform have you finished working on it no I, me falta okay me falta esta semana tengo no voy a desvelar <laughs> por ejemplo en la en la sección 2 no sé si ya la trabajó la que estuvimos viendo ahora no the last part that I did was, I don't, no, no recuerdo, like, um, the, the parenthesis que estuvimos viendo antier. Ah, the logistics, the distribution, uh -huh. Uh -huh. This, Okay, this yeah, we, the... we completed everything. Yesterday we also completed and um, try to, try to complete everything. Remember that every Friday, they just finish and they check um, at, in the middle of the night. So try to advance, right, as much as possible. Try to advance, try to answer. Today we saw some of the exercises for you to complete it, right, and for you not to be left behind. So try to, try to catch up on that. I know that it is very difficult in some cases you are very like tired with the, all, all the job of the day and all that. But let's try to, um, to dedicate a couple of minutes to the platform, right? Siempre dediquemos como unos minutitos a la yes. semana a, a la plataforma, ¿verdad? para que no se nos vaya atrasando y para que lo pueda ir completando del todo. So in the case of pronunciation and fluency, this weekend I am planning to, uh, to help everybody, like in general, with uh, some material with some material for you to practice and for you to practice your reading and your fluency. So that is going to help you a lot for you to start like getting into, into the practice again, because in some cases when we say like, yeah, I have problems with speaking, 
but uh, that's why I am making you speak more, right? Por eso hoy en cada clase los pongo a que platiquen, que interactúen, que produzcan. Because uh, I know it is the most difficult part of the language, right? Es como la parte que se deja siempre como sin practicar. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces son muchos y se dice uno que otro participa. But no, right? I am planning to have every day, every day, right? Todos los días los estoy poniendo a que interactúen, produzcan, platiquen. So, Take advantage of the moment for you to speak English only, right? Ahí aproveche para usted platicar solamente el inglés, right? No Spanish, no nothing. Try to produce your English because that is going to help you a lot at the moment of actually producing your, your own language. So uh, in general, Linda, do you have any, any other specific thing that you need help with? No, uh, the the concepts about the topics sometimes are a little bit confused. <laughs> they it's because they are they are technical. That's why logistic and something. I don't know. <laughs> I I I don't relation. Yeah, you don't have a, a direct relationship with them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But. It's okay. <laughs> what I what type try of, to what type of job do you do? I mean in, in your normal life. I'm in sales. I'm a seller. I I work in a, a furniture store, but I I I no sé, veo cosas de, de delivery some something like that, but raw material some some like that, but no, no es, no es completamente. Like a, a lot of logistics, right? Yeah, I know. There, there might be some things that are like kind in of my new. Case, no, only my, myself. I, I, I don't you, know. I am, estoy pendiente más o menos de las entregas, pero no es que esté de lleno. No. Yeah, you are not like the main head of logistics, right? No, but I, maybe it can help you later on. Who knows that you get like a different level in the in the company, and then for sure you are going to have like this specific knowledge. Well, my dear Linda, I am going to uh, help you with the speaking. Uh, a lot of practice, a lot of questions. Ahí lo voy a poner a hablar un montón para que practique el speaking. Okay. And for sure, uh, the listening and the reading. I am going to share the links with the with the group in this okay. weekend so you can have this also this extra practice and for sure work on the platform advance and for me uh, it yes. is always a pleasure to help you and whatever you need remember that you can text me and i can help you okay thank you teachers thank you thank, thank you very you much me. linda let uh, remember uh, we miss you a lot in class so please don't miss classes Okay, stay yes. there in class. I will. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. Have a beautiful thank weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.